Hi, I'm Jim Sills, co-founder of Clear Demand. We're a pricing software company committed to helping retailers compete more effectively. This is our fifth in a series of short videos for retailers. In our previous videos, we introduced basic retail science concepts and explored how those could be used to respond to competitor prices and cost changes. Today, we talk about one of the most challenging business questions facing retail, how to use promotions to drive traffic and revenue without eroding margins. Retailers often repeat last year's promotion or simply do what the vendor tells them. Let's look at how retail science can be used to think differently about promotions. In a previous video, we described how regular unit sales increase as price decreases. Promotions such as displays, placement, flyers, and emails generate unit lift. When an item is promoted at a lower price, its forecast is shown here. How is a merchant to use this information to promote more effectively? In a previous video, we described the regular opportunity curve showing the trade-offs between revenue and profit for regular prices. This point show, shows the profit and revenue at current regular price. When this item is promoted without a price decrease, profit and revenue increase. When the promotion includes a price decrease, the resulting promotional opportunity curve looks like this. We now know which products and offers deliver maximum profit and which products and offers deliver maximum revenue. Let's look at how a merchant can use this information to plan promotional events that drive revenue without eroding profit. Within a promotional event, there are products and offers that drive revenue and others that drive profit. It's the revenue drivers that can erode profit. If we look at the opportunity curve for the revenue drivers, it looks something like this, where current regular profit and revenue is shown here, and the profit and revenue for the promotion is shown here. The difference between them is the lost profit. How is a merchant to recover this lost profit? One approach is to reduce the price of the revenue drivers. Another is to look at the profit drivers. The key is to identify which products and offers are revenue drivers and which are profit drivers and balance the trade-off between them. Thank you for joining us. Please continue to follow us as we explore innovations that help you compete more effectively. Send questions to my email address below. Follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. Visit our website where you can register for webinars, white papers, and news alerts.